Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. Before we get started, uh, Kaysen's doing really good. He's home now, um, but we wanted to go ahead and do an update on the events that took place that evening once we went to OU Children's. Um, I ended up going after talking to staff later that evening. They was going to do emergency surgery. So thank each and every one of y'all for all y'all's prayers and all the support from all the other channels. We, we had so many people reach out to us and it's just so amazing to see so many people care about some people we never met before and, and just showing their condolence and just prayers and love. So we want to thank each and every one of y'all so much. All of our subscribers, um, based like family members, thank y'all so much. It made us feel absolutely amazing to see all the support. So uh, this video is one is which we want to share it with all of our um, subscribers and our, our YouTube family. But this is also for documentation for when our kids get older. Guys, we just got to, um, to Oklahoma City. Um, we're at OU Medical Center. We're coming up on OU Medical right. Center now. Turn right onto Northeast 13th Street. That's our trauma room. Turn right, then arrive at your destination. This is Children's Hospital ER parking. Carly's home. Casey, but Carly's there and a new chicken. And guess what else Walker Farm fam sent you? What? They sent you another rabbit. Hmm? Yeah, they got you a rabbit. What are you want to say to Walker Farm fam? Thank you. Thank you. And I had her at Mirror last time we were here, and that was a nightmare. Yeah. You want puppy video? Mommy got you some watermelon. You want some watermelon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I have everything I need. The doctors will take a look at these and then they'll tell you how they're gonna proceed. Which, is that the elbow? Uh-huh. This is the joint space right here. Uh-huh. And um this will be your top bone right here, and this is the bottom of the top bone. So that's part, this is the upper part that should tuck in right there. Okay. And then these are the two bones so in your forearm. Okay. You're not going to be able to swing it for a little while, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Looking real high up in the air. Yeah. Did it hurt when you fell? Okay. What are you watching? Okay. You're not shy, aren't you? Okay. Pretty little screws in your arm, you know it? Yeah. Huh? Why? Because your bone is broken. This bone right here, it's all broken right here. I have a scar like daddy. You have a scar like daddy. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they don't have to put pins in though. You want Paw Patrol? If not, if so, maybe later on in life we can get it taken out. Okay? Put back together the bone. Yeah, well, they'll screw your bones back together, and then once your bones heal together, they can take the screws out. You have any numbness in your hand, like it's asleep, or does it feel normal? Okay, good job, buddy. You're a tough kid. So, um, I'm gonna go get some stuff, and then I'll come back and talk to you about the rest. But basically, they transferred you here because he will need surgery. It's a surgery that we do all the time. We did a couple today. It's just, it's one of those things that happens in this time of the year with kiddos outside <laughs> playing around. Um, Is it going to retake in the screws? So no screws, but it will be pins. So kind of these long uh, metal pins. What we'll do is um, 
I think the surgery will probably be first thing in the morning. Um, I don't think it'll be tonight. I don't think we're, we're in like an emergency status where we have to go tonight because uh, his arm and everything's working pretty mm -hmm. good. And we, we'll have the full crew here tomorrow. So I'm going to talk to my boss tonight and see if they're okay with that plan. And then uh, we'll get you taken care of uh, in the morning by, by the by the team. We've got five uh, five um, pediatric trained trauma people, so they do this all the time. This is uh, this is right up our alley. Will we stay in here? So tomorrow. We'll, uh, I'll get an order in for you guys to have a room upstairs. Uh, they are really busy, so you'll likely be down here for a while, but you'll have a room upstairs eventually. Uh, the surgery is typically we, we put him to sleep and he's uh, we've got the full anesthesia. We use our x-rays to make sure all the bones are aligned how we need them. And we get some pins into his elbow. We typically do three pins and they hold it all together. He'll be in a splint that keeps him kind of like this for about a week. Then we transition him into a cast with this with those uh, pins still in there and those are holding the bone exactly where they need to be and then around five weeks or so uh four to five weeks we take the uh the cast off pull the pins in clinic after we take some x-rays okay. and uh, and then he you know he'll be super stiff after that but then he gets better as he goes so do you know what bones are broke right now yeah right now it's called it's called your humerus it's the one that connects the shoulder down to the elbow your humerus kind of makes a triangle at the end and uh, as it gets further down uh, it's called the you have two condyles you have one condyle here and one condyle here his broke right above and it's a very typical thing that we see in kiddos this is pretty pretty common fracture okay um, the good things going for him is that he doesn't have any uh, skin that is threatened right now so his skin here while he's swollen and probably really painful he doesn't have any tinting of the skin, so there's no bone that looks like it's about to come out, and he doesn't have any uh, any nerve problems. So those are the good things that make us think that we can probably do this in the morning rather than taking him back right now, okay? All right, so I see the doctor's been back. Yeah, they put his splint on for right now, just something that's longer up his arm since the fracture is right here. And then he signed it saying, pretty much I okayed this surgery. <laughs> And then I signed the papers. What's all that dirt there, man? You got dirt all over this bed. Just wait till he gets up. Hey, you bringing some of that Eddie family farm to Oklahoma City? Huh? <laughs> you feeling okay, son? It's hot now. Yeah. Did they give you some medicine? No. Which You're going to be okay, though, okay? I'm thirsty. You're thirsty? I didn't tell you that. All right, we'll ask the doctor if he can get something to drink, okay? The step went to get something to eat. The doctor came back in. I missed the doctor while they go. Uh, when I went and got something to eat, and then um, oh, no. what happened? they come in and fixed his arm, put a new splint on it. Steph told me what they said, that uh, possibly do the surgery tomorrow, um, but a slight chance they'd do it tonight. Um, the doctor came back in just a few minutes ago and said that they're going to go ahead and do the surgery tonight. Um, so talking um, to him said it should take about an hour um, and uh, they got a room for us and all that uh, upstairs. Um, but uh, it's uh, scary to uh, know you, you can't fix something that's wrong with your child. But you just got to stay strong and keep on going so he's doing pretty good right now Brian. You're going to do just fine, all right? Yeah. Once they take him back, I'll show you guys the waiting room and there's a charging station and stuff back there for you. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. So they just took Casey into surgery. Um, we've 
was back there with him while he was giving him anesthesia. Um, we recorded a little bit, but uh, you know, um, for one, we want to respect everybody else's privacy. Um, and sometimes people do get nervous when you start recording. Uh, they don't realize that we document everything in our life, but nobody has said anything. Um, a lot of it is just for us and to showcase him when he gets older, like, hey, you did break this bone, look. Yeah, and not only that, y'all are part of our family and we like to try to keep y'all mm -hmm. up to date with everything. Um, just going back to today, um, I was walking down um, with the trash and stuff and, and I heard the scream and I knew it was bad and Steph was right there and um, I continued walking and uh, when she said it was broke, I, I knew something was bad, but I uh, was like going to pull the car up there and just put him in a car and we'll go. Well, I get up there and actually look and it it was def deformed. What do you say? Yeah, deformed. deformed. His, his arm is broke from right here. Right here. It's broke. Completely off. Completely off his bone. Um, it's a common... Um, break is what the doctor said a lot of kids he's not getting break. no pins no screws no screws he's uh, getting pins they're getting pins which they can go back in later on and take them out here in 46 weeks um, sound the, the 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 doctor that come in uh, said that you know he had already done three of these today but um, we're just very thankful that he's not as hurt any worse than what he is. Um, on the swing, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to take the swing down or or leave it. Don't know. I mean, I really like laying out there and... Uh, I think we can lower it. Lower it, possibly. And I think the kids learned to lesson. Um, not to be pushing it, you know. Um, no, it wasn't even that Addison was pushing it because she pushed it he and got then scared. she walked away and he wanted off of it and couldn't reach the ground to stop it. So he jumped and that's how it all happened. So yeah. it's really not the swing. I don't think he's going to be jumping off any swings anytime soon, but it is Kaysen, so he may... They let him pick out the color for his cast. He wanted rainbow, but they don't make rainbow. So he's gonna get him a blue cast. We met with the walkers today and we got our dog, Carly. Um, Kaysen's very excited about that. And, um... Come on, Carly. Look, get a new family in your new house. You guys want to pet her? We visit with them and, you know, Steph was keeping us up to date. Um, that's when she, um, right when uh, she called me uh, for the final time, we was actually getting ready to close out a video. And uh, um, I told Kaysen that you were probably video and that's why you didn't answer on your personal phone. No, um, we, um, it was dead. And me and Gary was closing out their video and it was ringing. Um, and I was like, well, but he's like, yeah, go ahead and take that, you know, with the, what y'all's got going on. And that's when Steph said that they was, is shipping him out, which, you know, it's uh, just one of those deals is you feel helpless as a parent if you can't help them. And uh, so I ended up taking the kids up to Marie and them. They said, you know, let them stay there. Um, and she's going to take them down to the bus stops. Um, Layton's doing good. Layton didn't want to come up, but uh, when he got to Marie's, his friend Slim Shady showed up and uh, wanted to go fishing, so he went fishing with them. Was it Lyndon? Lennon. Lennon. I call him Slim Shady because he's got his little uh, hairdo. He uh, bleached his hair. Bleached so. his hair. And uh, I did that back in high school. But, um, so they went and um, they went fishing, which that's good for him because it would have been better for him to be down there with friends and not thinking about it because Layton's kind of like Brandon. That's what I was saying. Layton is he is got kind of emotional <laughs> at the trailer, and 
he asked if we were going to the city. Uh, yeah. So I was only going to take the girls down there, and uh, but he ended up staying. So, um, also I can't. The numerous people that has reached out to us today has been absolutely amazing. You know, um, we tried to keep you know our personal life in until we're ready to let it out. But once something big like this happens, it does get let out pretty quick, which is fine. Um, several channels that we talk to all the time even channels that we don't know has reached out and just um, um, showing their condolences and um, so we're going to sit here for an hour it's eight o'clock now so he should be out about nine o'clock um, it is Sunday the second mm -hmm. Sunday the second at 8 p.m. Um, so we're going to sit here and wait so we're waiting. He should be coming out that door here soon when they're ready. Um, they said they call it. No phone calls is good. Yeah, what? they said if they call us, that usually means there's a complication or there's something just they're going to do extra, like looking at a shoulder or whatever. But if they don't call, then it's, yeah, no calls, a good sign. Because what's it this? is now 845. What's this TV? Oh, it shows right there that he's in surgery. Yeah, that's... I guess you. I've always been the one to bring him to, to get their tubes in and stuff. So these are the colors. Like, he'll be here first. Next, he'll turn to blue where he's in the recovery room. And usually, they'll be in the recovery room for a good 20, 30 minutes, depending on how the kid wakes up. And then they'll come and either call us or they'll come and get us to go in there with them. pins in there okay so there's three of them holding you can see where the break was kind of going through there he actually had was kind of broken in several pieces but the main parts where we had to get the pin together and that should hold pretty well so that's what we got okay mm -hmm. everything went fine we were able to do it close so no incision or anything just kind of just manipulated and got three pins in there he's got a splint on and that's it so he's going to leave this thing on until you come back and see me in a week so next monday come see me take him out of this splint put him in a cast Okay. okay. Cast will be on for another two or three weeks and then we'll pull the pins. What about, what about shoulder? The... Shoulder will fine. Okay. okay. Yeah, we felt that in the other shoulder, it felt totally normal. Okay. It just feels a little funny compared, I don't know why. His shoulders is Because they like do weird it, things yeah, like pop yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah he does yeah. Yeah. Weird. So we just noticed it was kind of doing that and then we noticed it was doing the other side and it's not that swollen so I, we kind of left it alone. But um, it's kind of... What about the bone, little bone pieces? Do they finally just go? Yeah, away? so basically, you know, when he broke it, it, it like kind of broke and like a little piece of this one was kind of broken off. So that little thing you see right there, that's actually a small piece that's off the side. Okay. Those just heal back, that's not a big deal. The doctor just left the room. Um, he gave us, it looks like he got three or four uh, pins in his arm and um, said everything went good. The shoulder is good. Um, he's just got some weird bones, he says, but that's fine. He's good. Um, which he's, he's in recovery right now. So that means we'll get to see him here in just a little bit. Um, 
We're so, gonna yeah. stay with that so that we can keep his pain under control at least for one night here. Yeah, because it ain't like we're going to a house. We're going back to the RV, you know. <laughs> and I feel for him because it is going to be rough for him the next few days or while this is going on. But the main thing, he's okay. He's and y'all seen that daddy can become a big crybaby when it comes to the kids. So, um, anyways, um, we're going to wait until she, he gets out of the recovery and then we'll shoot a quick video when we go in and then we're going to, um, I don't know. We'll just see. Now you see who the tough one is. Yeah. Hey, I'm tough, but if you ever want to get me down, all you got to do is do something one of my kids or something happened to one of my kids and, and I, I'm not tough no more. I, I turned into a, baby. Yeah, a big baby. So uh, that's the deal. It's like there, I couldn't, I couldn't transport him. I couldn't do nothing. Uh, that's where I was like, just call the ambulance, you know, um, luckily they did a fabulous job. So anyways, we're going to stay here and wait. Mom and dad are here. Can you wipe them out? Yeah. Get your juice when you're ready. You want some juice, son? No, I mean, he's like, I'm sleeping. You want a drink? He's our sleeper, though. Is he? You want a drink, son? Do you want some apple juice? Yeah. Do you want some apple juice? Your arm's fixed. You can't move it right now, but it will be fixed. Look here. Look here. There's your arm, son. They fixed it. It don't make sense to you right now, but when you get older, it will. They put like that one, two, three, like three pins in there. And then there's your elbow area. That looks like it hurt a little bit. There you go. That's it. There you go. There we go. He's still got dirt with him. Oh, well, <laughs> Got it. Well, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. And get him set up. There's not anything that he does. Okay. Good. Call the couch. We finally made it up to the room. Uh, we're on the 10th floor, room 10. Very top. We're at the very, very top. Um, we we kind of talked to him a little bit. He hasn't come all the way to, uh, but he's opened his eyes. He's acknowledged that we're here with him. Um, at one point, he thought we walked away and he was up looking around. So anyways, um, nurse, I'm. I'm just absolutely blown away by the staff and just even today is ba bad for us but all day long we have been treated with nothing but kindness and to to ensure each and every one of us that he's going to be okay and that means a lot when you're in a situation like this um, because if you don't go through this stuff all the time you are panicked and it's just a great feeling and I can't thank them enough. Um, good morning, son. Good. How you feeling? Good. Good. Are you hurting? No. You know what's going on? You hurt you broke your arm? Yeah. You didn't get to talk very much yesterday, but you, you look like you're doing better. See your arm. 
Oh, that pretty blue color. So we get to go home today. And then you will, uh, we'll have to come back in a week to get a, get a cast on. And then I think we'll have to come up about every, every other week from there to get it checked out. Then you got some pins in your arm. You know that? You got screws in your arm, or not screws, pins. I'll show you here somewhere. You know. This is your arm. Your arm. See them black nails there? Them are pins. See right there? Them pins are holding your elbow together. So they're right here. So you broke this bone right here from your other two bones. And you broke a bunch of uh, little pieces of your bone coming apart inside. That's the reason why you was hurting so bad. But they said you're gonna heal up just fine and be good and be, you go play monster trucks when you get out. You ready to go home? Yeah. <coughs> you hungry? What? Are you hungry? <coughs> Left. Looks like his right arm's in his head. Yeah, everything's reversed. Yeah. So where are y'all going next after this? Back home. No, but to eat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go get something to eat. All right, love you. Love you. Love you, babe. He's talking today. He wants some food. He wants some food. You ain't ate in almost day. He didn't. Yeah, he didn't even eat all day yesterday. Um, because of the accident hurt, happened early that morning <coughs> before we actually got up and got around and um, after that he couldn't eat because of surgery but uh, we'll turn this around and look a little bit outside looks like there's a play, play town or some kind of little city down below here I'll show you looks like there's a little city down here Market and all kinds of stuff. Fire shop. I'll have to go check that out. Let's see what it did. I might want it. Let me see. I'll I'll do it first. Ooh, that looks good. What do you think it is? Biscuits and sausage and potatoes. Is that eggs? And eggs. You want some of it? He ain't turning down no food today, guys. Mm. You eat with that on there, but <clears throat> Yeah, you can eat with that. That that's just holding your dill on. That's seven this morning. Let me take this up. Oh. Can't eat like that. Daddy, you'll have to feed him. Then we'll get his baby up in there. And you did that right there. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. Back. Oh, okay. <laughs> that way, then it don't spill on you. The helicopter flying in. I thought it was loud last night.
we told Cason last night that uh, just be a good boy, and on the way home, we'd stop by and get him a monster truck. That's what he wanted. Monster truck with a shark on it, but unfortunately can't find one like that. But we're going to see what they got. So, But um, we stopped at Waffle House and got him something to eat. Um, he then told us he was, he was hurting. So we went out to the car and got him... Uh, once we got back to the car, we got him some medicine, and as you see, he's he's knocked out back there. Um, Steph, she's taking her a little nap as well. Uh, we're just thankful to be on the way home, and uh, we, we, we've had so many of our friends reach out in just prayers and showing there's just it, absolutely amazing how much love and support that has been shown, um, you know, in the time of uh, tragedy like this. Uh, I keep saying tragedy. Tra tragedy sounds bad. It was bad when it happened, but after everything calms down, you know, it's, I guess that's just the parent deal. But this video is probably gonna be all over the place but I want to, you know, show as much as possible. Not only that, so we can document it for him as uh, he gets older. Anyways, we're just about home, so. All right, guys, we just got home. We're gonna try to get Kaysen out. You wanna go get on that swing? No, we're not huh? gonna swing. Oh, okay. Walk. <laughs> You're sticking on? Yeah. Uh, well, there's the rooster. The rooster's there. That's our Walker Farm Fam rooster. That's it. The Royale and Red. No, that's ours. Oh, the rooster's right there behind you. My mom. Yeah, yeah. Oreo. Oreo, y'all back up. Oh, yeah. That's I where. There. Yeah, he is laying right there. No, it's more. The one you close to the tree. Yeah, it was a pretty good ways. Well, all I know is wherever it was, I was sitting in uh, rabbit manure. But um, you sure you don't want to? You want, you want to hop back up there and get on that swing? You don't want to swing no more? We're going to have to fix your sling. Yeah. There's old stud muffin. Some ghost missed us, Yeah.